we've spoken in recent months about um, how aluminium producers were one of the areas, or and indeed fertilizer producers in Europe were one of the areas that might struggle through the recession and through this sort of period of very high energy costs, mm -hmm. um, because energy is a big part of what they do. Um, where is that at now? Um, so in the fertilizer space, uh, as an example, you've got 75% roughly of European production now offline. So they are primarily gas based and they cannot, at the current gas prices, they are just not economic. Um, you're starting to see subsidies here and there, but in general, it, it's very difficult for a European fertilizer producer to, to, to be making money at the current kind of the current gas price. Similarly with aluminium, unless you have very hedged power prices, and even then they won't last forever. If at spot power prices and where aluminium prices are, it's very difficult to make money. So you are absolutely seeing production cuts um, across across the board. I mean, that sounds really dramatic, doesn't it? <laughs> that, that actually European fertilizer and European aluminium production is just going away basically and it won't come back? Well, I mean, it won't come back while you've got high power and gas prices, and then it becomes a question of how long your producer can afford to just pay for the fixed costs or whatever, keeping a plant open um, or on care and maintenance, um, given the kind of uncertain backdrop. Yeah, and that's not worrying governments, you think? or? Well, I'm sure it is, hey? I think so you're already seeing certain countries, I think Germany is one of them, talking about kind of subsidies for the the fertilizer producers as an example but it i guess it's part of a broader hierarchy of needs in europe right you want security of supply however there are lots of different things that you need to be paying for primarily now so your first port of call is where can i get gas outside of russia where can i get oil outside of russia once you're done paying for all those things and trying to cap power prices for consume and consumers there's not necessarily that much money to to kind of throw around so if you've got a commodity where fine, you're not necessarily producing on your own, but you've got quite diversified global supply. And that's probably somewhere you'd be a bit more comfortable losing some of your own production versus commodities where you've got very concentrated supply.